showing the diversity of support for Palestine. Our next speaker is from the Green Party that's always supported Palestine. I give you the leader of the Green Party, Natalie Bennett. Well, thank you. And I want to begin very much by saying thank you to every 150,000 of you. And now I understand why none of my tweets are going through, because you're all tweeting as well. But we've been talking a lot about the politics, and I'll get to the politics. But I think we should take a moment to think about the pain. The pain of the parents and relatives of the 10 year old who died yesterday and all of the nearly 2,000 other people who've been killed, massacred in Gaza. You have a message. 150,000 people are sending a message to the people of Gaza. We feel your pain, we feel your suffering and we want to stop it! Now often it's hard here in Britain to think what can we do, it's a long way away. But actually we know there's something very obvious, very simple and very clear to do. And that's to end the arms exports from Britain to Israel. And more to end any military cooperation of any kind with Israel. And you know what? I think that's achievable. You've heard here politicians from different parties calling for that. And in the parliament, before they went off for the holidays, Caroline Lucas, the Green MP, put that challenge to David Cameron and said, we must have an arms embargo now. And you know what? David Cameron didn't have an answer. He just came out like the person who's lost the fight and just starts swinging. And I think today you've increased the pressure on David Cameron. There's pressure coming from him on all sides. So let's say to David Cameron now, stop arms exports! Thank you.